ever since I was a kid, you know, I go through like six month things where it might be, you know, a certain battle in World War II or Houdini's lock picking or who knows what. And I would just get obsessed with a topic, sometimes broad, sometimes narrow. My mother wasn't quite sure if it was healthy or not, but uh, she basically kind of uh, survived these obsessions. Right, actually, th that game was the uh, kind of the uh, initial conception of Sim City because I found I built a program that allowed me to scroll around that little world, you know, make the terrain, put down roads, buildings, and stuff. And it was basically my editor for this game. And I found I was spending a lot more time and having a lot more fun building these little worlds than I was blowing them up with a helicopter. SimCity, it's interesting that there's this uh, fascination, I think, with micro-worlds, or models, really, uh, at different levels. I was just captivated with the idea of having a whole little world in a box like that, um, where you are the, kind of the driving force, you know, for good or bad. Primarily creative way, because I think, you know, up to that time, most games were very action-oriented, and also very kind of Walter Mitty escapist, you know you're saving the world, or you're leading an army. Uh, and SimCity was about something that we actually have a lot more daily experience with. We have a relationship with cities, you know, that we don't, most of us do not command armies or space armadas, etc. Spore had a couple of uh, unique things about it. Number one is that most of the assets in Spore, you know, the creatures, the uh, planets, spaceships, buildings, were player created. That's a big part of the game, is that as you're playing the game, you design a creature, you design your spaceship, design your you know, city. And when you create stuff in the game, it's automatically sent up to our database and used to populate other people's uh, game installations. So once you go up to the galactic level, you're now flying, we had millions of stars, each of which had planetary systems, and each one had unique life and unique civilizations because we had millions of players always creating this stuff as they played the game. So creating the game was the process of kind of making the game. One thing I've noticed, you know, is you always seem to focus on these life systems. You like to explore them and deconstruct them mm -hmm. and, and figure them out. It's actually something that you yourself has referred to as, as an affliction. It just influences the way I see the world. I mean, it's, uh, you know, when I come into places, uh, places I've never been before, I see things I've never seen before, I'm initially sitting there trying to reverse engineer, you know, what is the overall system here? And I'm looking for patterns, and I'm trying to, in my head, build a simulation of what the way this thing works, you know. And this thing, you know, might be some new machine, it might be a social system, it might be a party, uh, but it's very distracting uh, to always be reverse engineering the world around you. Yeah. 